Hey traders, this is Taylor with Top Pick Trading, and I'm going to do the bar by bar today. Marco is out, so uh, you guys are stuck with me. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this day. So we come in, um, get to about eight o'clock on here. Coming in around eight o'clock a.m. Eastern time. This is what you'd be looking at. I'd come in, I'd draw this range for the overnight lows and the overnight highs. I'd assess the rest of the structure. Looks like maybe we had a downtrend here. We'll break a new low. Maybe an uptrend here. Maybe this looks a little, this tight structure was what I would initially draw, but this looks like it fits as well. All right. So we have pretty much a double top here. We got a first entry. And you get a second entry there that looks like a news item, 87 ticks. So um, can't take that. Um, and you can see it just kept going here. This is definitely news, so you're going to want to stay out of this. I, I don't know what item that was. So looks like it's calming down around here. But you can see we do have the break and new high from the uh, from this uptrend here. So looks like maybe. There was a tight little downtrend with a break in the low, but sometimes the news items can really just uh, shoot around pretty pretty wacky. So maybe we've got a new one here now. You can see we overshot the overnight highs. <coughs> and since it's still during the overnight, I'd adjust. All right, we get a break from the downtrend here. Expecting a potential new low here, but it did bounce. Right in the same area as where we spiked up. So it looks like maybe we've got an uptrend working. We're shooting that. Also, there may be, at this point, I'd start looking for a bigger structure. Sometimes the body won't fit perfectly on these news items. So um, I'd be looking for something like this, maybe. See if that ends up holding. Pushing higher. At this point, it looks like maybe a two tiered channel. Oops, let me color this. The double click. Okay. Fits rather well. And this is just too high. Got a little bit. See, we hit those uh, overnight highs and turn there. Now we're at the open. We got a first entry and a second entry here, but no good bar. And would have worked, but no way to know that. Which is higher. Extend this. Turned right here, and if you remember what I mentioned earlier about the wicks on news items, sometimes they can a little bit off, so let's just placate to that and see. We have a break and new high from this green uptrend here. Came right off these highs, and now we're turning. <coughs> Could get a, uh, a retest on this red trend as well. It's a pretty strong move, so let's see. This was obviously a micro trend. We got a first entry. We, we get a second entry here, but this looks still like one leg to me. This now has a break and uh, retesting the lows. And then at this point, we may also be looking for a additional wider channel, something like this, and this fits rather well. Let's see if this holds. And this would have been a second entry here, but. And it's tempting, um, but uh, this is a really big bar here. So I don't think you can take that. And it's not extremely clear if this is valid. It looks rather nice, but um, I think I'd still wait. Now we got the break. And uh, also one other fact about this trade is we came off the, the highs of this trend, so I think you need to wait there. So pushing up. Breaking new high from this uptrend. Got a first entry. Push down. Rather strong here. The 
So it's pretty much a double top. So we get another first entry here. We get a second entry. Doesn't trigger. So the second entry is here if it triggers. This is tempting right here, but it did close below the MA. Um, so I'm not going to mark this. But you can see that clearly two legs down there. Then there's the trigger of the second entry. It looks like it would have worked. So now we've got uptrend working. This would be a higher low if it triggers, and it would have triggered, but looks like we're kind of, we have a big down, big up structure, so this looks like a range. So I'd draw this at this point. Then this is a new high, so we got a first entry. And then we get a really sec, uh, really strong second entry here, and also a triple test. Uh, this has been a rather large uptrend. You can see we did touch the highs here, but the EMA kept holding. So now you have to think maybe we're just going to um, keep pushing at the moment. So uh, mark this trade blue here. Oops, sorry. Uh, green for me is an aggressive trade, so this means this is a higher probability trade for me. I'm going to adjust this trend a little bit. Maybe something like that. All right, so here was the second entry. Looks like you would have scalped out of that. It's at the resistance level now. We have micro trend working. Get a break from the micro trend, but it could have just turned off these highs. Now we're getting attempted retest of the micro trend. There's the new high from it. <coughs> Keeps pushing higher. Directs back. This is a failure right here. Actually, sorry, this is the failure. So we're into the highs either way. So. Uh, we do got a micro trend working here. So we got a first entry now. And the second entry is on an engulfing right into the high, so we can't take that. A lot of congestion there as well. Which is back up to this level. Get a huge rejection bar back down to the EMA. Right back up. So this is rather volatile here. Um, no clear entries. So now we get a second entry, and it's also like a triple test. Um, this has been rather strong, so I'm not going to mark this, but uh, this, this one could be tempting in a more of a range type structure for sure. Looks like it would have worked. EMA kept holding though. Now we get a lower high, but run into that EMA, which has been holding. We can't take that. And at this point, we've turned three times, so maybe this is the two tiered range. This point, I'd want to draw this micro downtrend. It's like that fits rather well. At this range support now, which is right through it. We get the first break from this uh, downtrend here. And now we get a second entry, but this bar right prior to this second entry is, is really strong, and it pushes right into this support level. So I, I would not recommend on such a bullish day taking this second entry. See, it would have ticked you in, and let's see. Okay, would it still be in it? So it looks like you actually would have gotten the scalp, but it's not worth risking, in my opinion. And we, um, we this could be a failed breakout. We're not sure yet. So we need to test the underside of it a couple times to confirm it as resistance now. So now we get a lower high. It's a little congested here. Um, and it's just the first test from the underside of it. But we could get a retest, so this is interesting. We'll uh, wait here and see if we can get something better. And now it's finding support. Now, this is really interesting. This is a failed second entry long, and it's also testing that resistance, uh, the bottom of the range now for a second time. Still room to these lows. It's like, yeah, right around two points. So um, I'm going to mark this trade. It is a, it is in this bigger bullish structure, but um, for the reasons I just mentioned, I think this is okay to take uh, if you're a little more experienced. Uh, we are expecting that we could come back down to the uh, entry point from the larger channel as well. So we'll mark that as a failure. Looks like you would have gotten the scalp now. Waiting to see if we get something as a key entry point. Entry point breaks. 
This now looks like two legs down. Let's see if we took a measure leg on that. Getting close to that. This almost looks like a, a new little trend in and of itself. But a lot of the times on the brakes, uh, it'll just reverse. So keep that in mind. And maybe it got a little break in new low there. Yep, now it looks like it's reversing. You can see it did break this larger channel, as I mentioned. Color this as well. So you can see it shaded. All right, so now we're, we've are we got four bullish bars in a row. Very strong, pushing above the MA. So this definitely looks like a nice little micro trend. Come back in. Coming up to this range resistance here. It's still holding. It looks rather nice. Looks like maybe a break there and new high. Second leg now. Let's see, there may be some bigger structure here. Turned around this resistance, but didn't quite get there. Up and sideways, kind of floating above the EMA. We get a first entry. Now it's correcting to the EMA. Get a second entry, but this structure is not clear to me. Um, we got a break here, so we are expecting a retest of these highs, but uh, this micro trend has played out. Um, we're a little bit above the EMA, and this is super congested here, so I don't think you can take this trade. See the congestion continues, and you would have gotten out, but you don't know that at the time. Um, and now that we've got a break in new high from this micro trend, maybe we can start looking for a bigger structure. You can see. Uh, these bars are holding at this key entry point. So this looks like this could definitely be valid. Watch this for now. <coughs> See what happens. So we push above, test this resistance, uh, now acting as support, bounces right off of it, and we're going way higher, it looks like. And this could be an exhaustive move since we broke out of this larger uptrend, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens at the EMA. So we didn't reach the highs here, so maybe losing a little bit of steam. Now this is interesting. Um, this looks like a um, triple test. You can see tested it once, twice, three times, and it's also a second entry long. This one's super tempting if you're uh, a little bit aggressive, but for me it's, it's a little far from the EMA. Um, and it is into this slight resistance level here. So, uh, but if you know what you're doing, you may want to take this trade. I, I personally am not going to mark this one, but um, a lot of things going for it, like this larger cantry point and triple test. So Let's see. Yep, looks like you would have gotten the scalp, but I'm okay with waiting that out for uh, a better setup. Entry point still holding. Let's see. Right at that cantry point now. And now we do have a, a break, definitely. Looks like there may be a micro trend working here. Looks like an overshoot. Color this. Yep, an overshoot. And now we have a second entry long, but this move is rather strong, so I think you need to wait on like a higher low or something. <coughs> That's pushing back up. Expecting a retest on this golden trend. And you get a higher low, but it, it has a bad setup bar and it forms at the high of the swing here, so you can't take that. Be something like this now. Correct. Back to the EMA. We could get a belt signature long, and we do here. Um, so it's two ticks off its high, so it's it's not perfect, but we are expecting a retest on this, and it's been a very very bullish day. So given that, it is a pretty good bar. Um, I'm going to mark this as a failed second entry long. I'm, I'm going to mark, or sorry, the failed second entry short. I'm going to mark it green as a slightly aggressive. The bar isn't showing extreme strength, but it's it's still pretty good. And it looks like you would have gotten the scalp from that. Got three bullish bars now, so let's draw another micro trend here. Looks like it's holding. Uh, 
Looks like we've got to break a new high from it now. Still pushing higher, and now this is the break a new high is larger than the uh, initial leg, so it could be another wider pattern. And yes, it's fitting right at the entry point, but way too far from the MA, and some of these larger structures have now played out. So now we got the break. Yeah, it looks like we're going to correct back to the EMA. One second, guys. My mic battery is about to die. Let me plug it in. One second. All right, back. Sorry about that. I had to plug it in. So we've got the, the break now. We didn't quite back, get back to the EMA. Continue. So looks like maybe some range structure here. At the resistance level, but it made a new high. Three uh, bullish bars, so no, no shorting this. This is still rather strong. Uh, we need to see some confirmed uh, strong micro moves in the bearish direction to be taking any shorts. Dropping sideways here now. This is higher again. Strong uh, bearish bar back to the EMA. Now we've got a rather strong move here. This looks like uh, now we're bouncing around at the midline, but we haven't made it to the highs. This looks like maybe a mini spike and channel, but we'll just leave it like this for now. And if we extend this, we're bouncing right here again. This could be two tiered. We'll show it like that for now. So you can see uh, this first entry would have never triggered. So uh, looks like this is a break a new low. It, it's kind of a weird structure. Uh, nothing clear here. So now we push back above the EMA. We've got three bullish bars. So I'm going to draw micro trend. This is holding. So draw a bigger one. We're right at this resistance level now. And we're just pushing higher even with this break, but now we do have a, a two legs to a new high, so this could be the end of it, but a lot of the times on these big uptrend days, they'll just prices will just kind of fold over into uh, shallower and shallower uh, spike in channels so, or, or bigger structures. So we'll keep that in mind and, and really just watch what happens at the EMA. So price is pushing higher. This is like a little breakout pullback, but way too far from the MA to take something like this. There we go. Uh, lower high, so that would have stopped you out if you did try to enter that. Pushing back to the MA. It looks like maybe this got a little bit of an overshoot. Just very, very slight. Uh, this is the second entry. Right at this midline. This is very tempting. Um, i got to think about that for a second. Uh, there's a little bit of congestion. Bar is not perfect, and it kind of finished high, so... Uh, I'd lay off on this. It's near this resistance level too, but it, it's very tempting. Okay, never would have triggered, so no trade anyway. I think maybe some microstructure here that has played out. Second entry long, but kind of no man's land. No trigger anyway. At this um, support level now, bounce there. Got a micro trend now as well. Break. Now we've tested this once, twice, three times. This is really tempting. Um, kind of just floating around and all the uptrends have played out. It's right into the EMA. I'm going to lay off this one as well. And yeah, it looks like it would have got you. Uh, if there was some bigger structure that needed to a retest or, or we were still inside of it then uh, this would be tempting but um, in this case everything is played out and we're kind of just chopping sideways and it was right into that EMA so one reason to think that that's a little risky but we're still bouncing here and one other thing to note is th this micro trend uh, couldn't get back to the high so it seems like we're losing some steam So maybe 
feels a little wide. I don't think there's a bigger down structure here. I just think that uh, I think we're just kind of chopping sideways. Very unclear. Trying to support, so you can't take this short. And you can see we're sideways. All these little bars that <laughs> that look really good don't mean much because there is no momentum to either side. So yeah, you can see that would have been a one tick trap. Push below. It really looks like there may be some bigger structure here. It's it's hard to know though. Maybe maybe at this point you do say this is valid. And I would have been late to the ball game on that one because it feels kind of wide. So uh, I'm keeping that in mind, but I'm not necessarily trusting this channel. This is an instance where I'd I'd kind of be uh, wary of this. So turn up here. Could get a retest on this, but. Uh, like I said, it wasn't all that convincing to me. It feels a little wide. Maybe if I drew it tighter, there is a slight break in new low. So we've definitely got a uptrend working now. This is holding at this resistance level now. Get a first entry. New high. Color this. Chopping way up here at the resistance level. At this point, maybe this. Uptrend's played out, but this is uh, very choppy here. So this would have worked. Maybe on a range type day, this would be a better trade, but this has just been too uphill to trust that. So we get a first entry, but this has played out, so I'm not really necessarily interested in a second entry. Uh, here it is, but came out the resistance. All the uptrends have played out. Um, and then we could have a micro downtrend working. So let's see what happens. It does push above, but uh, a little congested too, so I don't think you can take that. Pushes down really strong, so now this micro downtrend has played out. Bounce at the support, push a little bit through. And this was a rather strong move here. So we're just waiting to see. What happens at the EMA? So we push up above the EMA. Like maybe this is a micro uptrend here. And it looks like it's holding. And there may be some bigger this point since we just keep going higher there may be some bigger structure here uh, not so sure it looks like it's all played out to me I would be testing though and seeing if I could find something nothing looks so clear to me maybe some spike in channel let's look at that this actually fits pretty well off the highs so We'll keep this one in mind. Uh, at this. Oh, sorry, I got moved. Oh, this is confusing me. Hold on. I don't want to move it, so then I'll be able to see prices. Let me just delete it so we can clearly see this structure now. Okay. Um, so now we've pushed up. Above this resistance, and it looks like maybe this spiking channel is valid. Get a break, retest of the highs right here. See that midline of the spiking channel looks like it may be holding a little bit. Now we got a clear new high from the micro trend, but it just keeps going higher. And at this point, we've got the new high, but we can start looking for another. It's like another spiking channel if it holds. Be a little bit more wary of it. But yeah, wow, that's holding. Just chopping our little bars. Wow. Okay, now we have one big bar back to the uh, EMA. Let's see what happens. We could potentially take a second entry depending on what happens. We get a first entry and it pushes rather strongly below the EMA. We may be coming back to test this. Oops. Maybe coming back to test this uh, top of this range. So this looks like it was a, spy, a micro downtrend that has a break in new low. 
and here's the second entry, but unfortunately, uh, we got three bullish, three bearish bars, and we're below the EMA. Um, no way to take this, in my opinion. Look what worked. Micro uptrend here. Let's watch. It's holding. Get a higher low, but uh, just a first entry. Just a failed first entry. Failed first entry short as well, so no trade there. Still only a first entry. Now we get a second entry, but it's very choppy and right at the highs. There's actually, it looks to be potentially some resistance here. Now we got the break and new high of this trend and this spike and channel. Here we can see it a little better. Maybe some larger structure here. We'll see. Broke out of that. Got a first entry here. And actually, this looks potentially like another spike in channel. You can clear, you can clearly see it looks very similar to this because we've got this clear spike. And the EMA kept holding and it kind of folds over and keeps chopping uh, higher. So this isn't confirmed yet. We've only got two touches, but it does fit rather well at the highs. So let's see. So this is a first entry. Ooh, and now we get a second entry here. A little congested, but there's a little gap here. Uh, perfect bar at the EMA, good setup bar. It does confirm the spike in channel. So, um, and you can also see it's testing this previous resistance level now acting as support. Um, like I said, a little congestion, but I think this trade's okay. I'm gonna mark it, um, I'm gonna mark it aggressive just because of that congestion. And it looks like you may not be out yet. Let's see. Five ticks may get us. Let's see. A couple more. Okay, and now you'd be out of this trade. Good. And you can see that congestion held it up a little bit, so that's why I marked it green. All right. Spiking channel is really holding nice now. Perfect. Got a lower high. No trade. We're still in this uptrend now. And now we get a second entry. Some may mark this um, a little too aggressive for me because there's still room back to the MA and this key entry point. Um, so I'm not going to mark this, but some may take that. Looks like it would have worked. First, Just a first entry here. And right near the high, so no trade. And fortunately, no second entry sets up here. And now we get the second entry, but um, a couple things to note is we've got these three strong bearish bars that push right below the EMA. Um, and then this this actually closed right below the EMA, so I would be afraid to take this trade. And you can see it. Um, and, and actually, I wanted to mention this too. Um, a lot of the times on bigger channels will warrant a bigger break. You won't just get a one bar break and then a new high. A lot of times these need a little more room to make corrections and, and truly play out. So, and you can also see we're coming up short on our spike in channel highs here, the bigger spike in channel. So it looks like we're probably losing some steam. And even these really good uh, bars right at the EMA aren't pushing that much higher. So now you get a failed second entry long, but still too bullish to take it short. It's just more of a waiting game right here. Looks like the short would have worked, but that's okay. Uh, may have drawn this a little too late, but would have had overshoot now. At the support uh, resistance level that acted as support now, bounces there. See, it's kind of moved. Sometimes these will kind of travel a little bit. Looks like it's kind of pushed down a little bit more. Ooh, and wow, you get a really, really strong bar there, but right near the EMA with a little bit of wick on top. So, and you can see it didn't even trigger anyway. So now this downtrend has played out, and this support level is holding. Micro uptrend's working rather nicely. Draw a little bit bigger one. Expecting a retest on this blue spike and channel. Got a first entry here. Second entry doji, unfortunately. 
this was a really strong bar right here. I think we could take it long, but uh, I'm not going to take a doji like that. Three dojis, nothing. Would have worked, barely, but not worth it. So now, getting two legs to a new high. You can see we had the break, two legs down. Now we got the break, and now we got the two legs to a new high. So this structure could be over, but we are still within this larger spike and channel structure. So let's see how it plays out. Usually I don't draw the trends on the breaks, but this one's strong enough to do that, in my opinion. So now it's got the break and new high as well. Now we're just floating way above the EMA. Just chopping higher. Bearish move, pretty strong. First entry. Doji's chopping higher. And definitely I'd start looking for a bigger trend here. Looks like maybe this. And we got a second entry here, but wow, it's it's too high, and it's Doji's right next to it, so uh, I definitely don't think you can take that. But it does look like this channel now is valid. Now we get the break, right as I say that. <laughs> and this move down is rather strong. Well, a lot of strength on that one, but we do get the break on that. First entry. It's chopping higher. So we get an engulfing second entry short, but obviously the bigger structure's up. But we could get a retest on this downtrend. Let me draw it with a different color. See what happens at the EMA. Get a second entry long here, but this was strong enough to warrant a retest, potentially, even in this bigger structure. So I don't think you can take this. It was below the EMA anyway. And there's three bearish bars. But no triggered. So now this working rather strong to the upside. Get a break on that. Now, now this is this is rather tempting here. Uh, it's just it is actually a failed second entry short. No trend here. We're just looking for a new high potentially. Uh, so this is tempting. We did come right off that resistance there, um, but I do. This is actually right at three at three thirty. So for that one reason, I just realized it was shaded. I'm not going to mark it. Let's see what would have happened there. Looks like you would have gotten the scalp. One and a half. That's the problem. Is it, it came right up to the retest level, so you, you just don't quite have enough room unless you're going for six ticks or taking a limit entry. Yeah, and it wouldn't have worked. So. If you took that one and it lost, uh, that's a tough one. And uh, now it's just too late. That's the second entry, but too late in the day. So, yeah. Look at the bigger structure here. And it looks like this ended up being a valid later on in the day, too. Something like that. Let me... We have this at eight, so now you can see the whole thing. There we go. So yeah, a little bit of a range to start the day. Had the strong uptrend, folded over into a wider spike and channel. Uh, what did I mark? Four or five trades? Four. You had the triple test here, you had the failed second entry long here, you had the failed second entry short here, and you had the second entry long here. And also the triple test was the second entry long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I was a decent fill-in for uh, Marco. He'll be back uh, likely next week on this. So thanks for watching, and y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.